and ambitious so because this job requires a lot of effort that's why i also think they must be hard working so they don't lose um, their mm, Inspiration. 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 Okay. Uh, Ilya, what would you add here? Um, maybe they uh, should be creative and very concentrated on their work. Yeah, this is a very nice ability to be focused, you know, for a long time. I find it hard. Okay, next one. Uh, Ilya, this one is for you. Okay, so the same question. She's a translator. Which qualities, skills, and knowledge do you think she requires for this job? I think translator should be really talkative. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I a bit disagree about talkative because if she will talk about whatever she wants. <laughs> no, like she had a lot of huge uh, Slavic vocabulary. Was, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, do you mean like she, she has to be a kind of a linguist, or uh, she has uh, she has to have some linguistic knowledge? Maybe that's what you mean. Yeah. Because talkative is a negative adjective, you know. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, also, she, I think, no, they should be patient about their their work, and as it's really hard working job. Um, Anna, what, what could be added here? Maybe sociable. Exactly, that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> and definitely she should be friendly, right? Cheerful, good looking, I would say. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Ilya, talk about mathematician, please. Oh, oh they should be really smart. <laughs> uh, also focused and concentrated, hard working, um, uh, with method? a lot of ideas. Well, I, I, I don't think really they need ideas. They need logic, formulas. Yeah, formulas like uh, this kind of thing. Okay. Uh, do you think they should have some special natural natural abilities? Yeah, maybe I think. Like like you said, logic. What else? Mm. Maybe analytical skills. Yeah, maybe a, a good memory. Exactly, that's absolutely true. Uh, or they can develop their memory as well if they don't have one. And uh, what I would add here, and I'm, what do you think? I would personally say that most of them, like out of this planet, as their genius. Uh, but I would not say that this uh, job is really practical. Okay, Anna, please talk about gymnast. Qualities, skills, and knowledge. I think gymnasts uh, should be uh, concentrated, really concentrated, because their life is... Uh, In their hands. Yeah, and <laughs> because this kind of sport is uh, kind of risky. That's why they also they must be concentrated and uh, motivated because uh, you will know to be you will do nothing good if you don't uh, want it. So you just um, fail. Fail. Okay. Uh, Ilya, what would you add here? They should be really sportive, flexible. I don't know. Fit, number one, they should be fit. Mm -hmm. uh, Kalabok can't be a gymnast, at least a good one, I believe. And uh, well, Anna, maybe you know, instead of like saying, uh, con um, you said concentrated, yeah, they should be concentrated. I would better use the word they should take a good control of their body, yeah. Okay, do they have to have a good rhythm of music? Of course. They do, yeah, they do. And what, what you did not uh, talk about the gymnasts, that they are absolutely hard working. 
Uh, they burn midnight uh, candles. You know what does it mean to burn the candle? Burn midnight no. candle. It means like they were still late. Um, these are a kind of people that have a daily training for five, six hours. So they should feel really exhausted. So if you have which of these four jobs do you think is the most hard working? Gymnastic and architect, I think. Yeah, gymnast and architect. Gymnast. Yeah, gymnast and architect. I, I will agree with you. Anna, which one of these jobs would you like to do and why? Mm, I would like to be a translator, I think, because uh, this job um, is uh, really interesting for me because I think uh, it will give me a lot of opportunities to see the world and to meet a lot of different people, to get acquainted with them. What qualities, skills and knowledge do you already have to be a good translator? And which one you need to develop a bit? Uh, at least I know one language now and I would like to know another one, uh, Spanish, because I think it is important nowadays and worthwhile. And also I think the translates our demands uh, to be sociable, first of all, because if you are not talkative, like in a good way, uh, and you're shy, then uh, people will not well, you. It's better know. to say communicative, you know? Not talkative, friends. Don't use this word about the translator, please. <laughs> talkative is my daughter, because she never stops talking, but she isn't a good translator at all. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, I think your answer is good. So, uh, Ilya, you have another question. Which of these four jobs you would never do and why? I would never do gymnast, <laughs> as I'm not really in, in a feed for that. And it's absolutely hard working and you should um, put your whole life into this job. Talk about you. I want you to talk about you. Uh, as I am not ready for that at all. I have another patience and uh, gymnast is not near to them. <laughs> Okay, not the right uh, job for you. Okay, good, thank you. So we are done with the first, okay? Then you go to the next one. You can see arrows, so the website is pretty friendly. I would say user-friendly, but again, look, I have uh, switched to another page and this takes time to, uh, to load. So just wait, just wait. Mm -hmm. Wait and wait and wait and be very patient. To be an online teacher and an online student, you should be very patient. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so as far as both of you are working from uh, the computer, okay, we will try now to do with you one thing. I'll give you the mouse. Okay, Anna, I would like you to do the first four words. Okay. So you take the word and you try to put it. But I'm not sure if it will work, okay? So Anna, now you accept my mouse and try to move the word if you can. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ilya, now you think about from fifth to eighth. Uh, those would be yours, but I cannot give you the mouse because we have only one mouse. So you wait till Anna finish. Okay. And then I'll give you the mouse. But don't tell her which words are you going to choose.
don't breathe so heavily or I will fly away or I don't know this don't know what does it mean take it easy take it but pedagogical 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 what makes me Anna what Anna Thank you. Uh, Ilya, I'll give you the mouth. Anna, stop using the mouth. Anna, stop using the mouth. Good. Okay. Uh, Ilya, I'll give you the mouth now and you try to do well. If you disagree with Anna, you don't change your adjectives. You simply take the one that you need for your sentence. Okay. He's very fast, this Ilya. And he's jumping just like you. So you can uh, then put cognitive here. Okay, thank you. So uh, what do you think should be done next? How can I check my answers? Submit. Okay, give me a high five, Anna. Thank you. That's right. So submit. Oh, we have a quick three <laughs> out of eight. Oh, I think you're all oh, that. So now I'll give you time, okay, to try again. So these are your three correct, okay? So I'll give uh, the mouse to Ilya, but you may work together now, okay? Discuss it, like I'm not here. And when you're ready, Ilya, please click on check the answer. Okay. Maybe the six uh, is pedag pedagogical because educational psychology. Okay, psychology. Yeah. This physical. Yes. This uh, the cognitive. Mm -hmm. Traditional and like this. So before before you click on check answers, please read it. And those sentences aren't easy. Think about it. Read it. Does it have sense? What is cognitive? I don't know. You're going to check it. <laughs> okay. You have your things, right? Okay. So where can we check it? Uh, like in our Cambridge Dictionary, for example. So, we want to check what is cognitive, yeah? Okay, can you see it? Yes. So, this is something about psychology. It's a special word for it connected with thinking and or conscious mental processes like some of your cognitive function it means mental functions mm -hmm. so uh when people when people get older yeah when they're getting older they're losing their cognitive uh, functions so they can't think as well as they used to so here are the um, collocations 
cognitive functions, cognitive behavior, cognitive psychology, this way, okay? Well, it's actually the same word in Russian, you know? Cognitiveness, they, they said it, processes. So what else would you like to check? I think that's all. I would like to check this one, aptitude. Ah, okay. Would you, or, or can you be my dictionary? Can you, can you, can you tell me the definition if you are my Cambridge dictionary? Not really. Not really. So let's do it together. Aptitude. Okay. So I would say it's a um, synonym of talent. Yeah. So natural ability, aptitude. Aptitude. Okay. Well, this word is pretty easy to get from the context, mm -hmm. but still, it's always better to check. So, if you are sure, Ilya, go on. Da 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 da. Woohoo! Much better now. Much better now. Click OK, Ilya, please, and try again. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We are almost done. Okay. Good job. So now you are eight out of eight. Thank you very much. Okay, good job. So, um, Ilya, I have taken the mouse from you. So, friends, uh, something. Uh, some collocations maybe um, you want to write down, yeah? 